What's going on guys, hope you're doing well. Today I wanna to talk about a common question that we ask ourselves that I hear many people who are looking for trucks and just in conversation, is a Ram 2500 a good daily driver, especially when you have the Hemi engine? Let's talk about it right now. guys so you are in the market for a truck you're thinking about all the different ways that you would use your truck the different things that you want to do take your family around do work some of you make money from your truck some of you tow travel trailers boats what have you and you want to make sure that you need or that you have the right truck for the needs that you're going to have to meet and at this point I'm imagining if you're thinking about this or if this topic is interesting to you it's because you've realized that you need the payload the strength the power the capacity of a three quarter ton truck. But at the same time, you don't want to give up the, the luxuries and the realities of a half ton truck. I totally get it because I went through it. Totally get it guys. So I will say this, first of all, a lot of this topic is going to come down to relative answers. They're going to be relative according to you, your personal lifestyle, your needs. What do you call a lot of money for gas? What do you call necessities? That you can't that you can't live without with this type of truck or necessities or, or wants I should say that you can't live without from a half ton truck and so for me when I had it starting off I went from a half ton truck which I loved was a great performer to the three-quarter ton truck and I wasn't against a three-quarter ton truck but I loved the capability and I love the flexibility of a half ton. I went to the three-quarter ton truck like you've all heard me say many times before if you watch any of my other videos the only reason I moved from the half ton truck to the three quarter ton truck was because I needed the additional payload. But I also knew I was gonna be leaving some things, uh, so losing some things, right? I knew I was gonna be giving some things up. One of the things was gonna be gas mileage. Now I'll tell you coming from a Ram to a Ram, I'm just convinced Rams in general aren't good on gas. So while this is not as good as a half ton truck was, uh, my half ton truck was, I haven't lost that much. It's really not that far off from my 1500. And that had 392 gears, which is great for towing, but it's not gonna be friendly to the gas tank. So that's a reality. So I knew that was gonna come. And it's about, believe it or not, about really two to three miles per gallon off. I think on the, the best I've ever gotten on this truck was 17 miles to the gallon on a highway. And that was driving the speed limit for an hour the whole way. But, I wanted to see what the best I could get in that amount of time. Around the city, you're gonna get anywhere, well, I get anywhere from 11 to 14 miles to the gallon. So again, guys, look, from a daily driver perspective, to me, and, and in my world, and in my pockets, that's not great gas mileage, right? But when I think about what I had in my half-ton truck, it's not that far off, it's not good, but it's not as far off as I thought it would be. Now, when you get into like the Fords and things, while you're giving up other things that from a from a ram to a four some in some places one thing you're gaining is they had just have better gas mileage they're lighter vehicles this video is about the ram 2500 not ford but i just want to throw that out there the ease of use the driving you know it's just like any other truck when you're driving is i mean you drive it to what you need it to do and to where you need to go and so for me i think from a daily driving perspective this is this can be considered as a daily driver now for me, because of how I drive, um, when I switched up to this, I already had a plan in place to have another vehicle um, to help with the daily driving. So I don't use this every single day, but there's times I'll go a couple of weeks at a time when this is what I drive day in and day out. So you can do it. And I want you guys to tell me what you think. Uh, this isn't law by any imagination. This is just my perspective and what I've seen from driving trucks and things. And I'm um, going through that process. I've heard a lot of people talk about how they have diesel trucks that those really aren't daily drivers. I can't really make an argument for or against that. I don't have a diesel truck. Um, I've never owned a diesel truck. I've driven them, but I've never owned one. So uh, to me, it just, to me personally, this is my opinion, guys. School me up if I'm out of line here. But for me, I wouldn't buy a, a diesel truck if it was just gonna be a daily driver. For me, you know, when I think of a diesel, I don't wanna deal with the, the DEF and all that stuff. I just don't wanna deal with it. I think it's a little overkill if you're not gonna be towing. Now, if you're gonna be towing like a heavy fifth wheel, or something, you know, you're gonna be making money off of your truck. Hey, by all means, do your thing. That's the difference. But just to have a daily driver as a vehicle that you that you want to use to get around day in and day out, where you don't need to, your truck to make money, 
um, but you will use your truck occasionally to tow a travel trailer or you know tow some equipment for land or work or something like that um, but it's not an everyday thing I would definitely go with the Hemi now here's another thing what are you doing recreationally with this vehicle for me I love to hunt right now this is the best time of the year to me because it's hunting season um, if I'm not working if I'm not doing something with my family I am in the woods I, I love being out there that's where I want to be and I can tell you, this truck has taken me everywhere I wanted to go. I did get it ceramic coated and put the PPF, some paint protection on it, because if you're a hunter, sometimes you drive places where there's tree branches and twigs and things rubbing up against your truck. I'm not going to destroy it taking it off-road hunting, right? So, sorry about the, the, the glare here. Let me see if I can help you guys out. Helped a little bit. So, I'm not going to um, destroy the truck. So, there's little things you can do if you're going to have something that's bigger like this because this does not squeeze into places as nicely or as tight like my half ton truck did that's just a reality but it takes me everywhere i want to go i've never been stuck i've used four wheel drive it's higher it has a higher profile naturally which is helpful i will tell you um from stop and go traffic just like with any vehicle your gas mileage is going to go down probably the biggest gripe if you haven't heard if you couldn't figure it out for using this vehicle as a daily driver is going to be the fuel consumption again some people say the age old saying, like I said in my previous video, if, you, if you're worried about fuel consumption, don't get a truck. I get it, but some people actually need a truck. Some people may not be in a setup currently where they have an option to have multiple vehicles. That's just the reality. If we only had a choice of one vehicle that we could have, just one, it would absolutely be a truck. There's just things you can't do with a car that you can do with a truck. I can go to the grocery store. I can go hunting in the woods. I can tow my travel trailer. I can do work and make money. If I had lost my job, if I lost my company or whatever the case may be, and I had to make money, I know with this thing right here, I can get creative enough to make money with it. You can't say that in the other vehicle. You just can't. I can be a taxi driver. I can do manual labor. I can move things. I can haul things. I can haul people. It's such a great list of options that you can do with this truck, with a truck in general, right? So. If you can get away with not hauling heavy duty things, I would say by all means, get a half ton truck. It's gonna give you tremendous capability. There's nothing you can't really do with it up to a point when it comes to weight and payload issues and things of that nature. But if you find yourself in a way, and this is, if I was to sum it all up nice and tight for you guys, wrap it up with a little pretty bow, and I was to say, is this a good daily driver truck? I would say yes, given that you do have a, an occasional need to tow or haul something that's extremely heavy, that's outside of the range of a half ton truck. If you can do that, I think you've won. Now, some people just like having a bigger truck and if that's you then, again, these answers are relative, you're gonna have a different answer and this might work for you. But just when I think about just your average everyday person who's, who's working, maybe raising a family, or maybe not even raising a family, but just going through life, um, I would say, Guess this this truck would be good as a daily driver as long as you have a need occasionally or to tow something heavy or to haul something heavy if you don't have that need then I would encourage you hey get a half ton because it's going to give you the capabilities of a truck you're going to have the ability to do some things that you can't do in a car and then you're still winning but for me I love driving this truck I'm very thankful for it I'm, I'm seriously enjoying it and um, we'll keep at it Hey, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.